dangerous is getting some new player friendly updates in the first half of 2019, so I figured I could show you a better way of getting through the grind that seems to plague this game. As for what to do in Elite, hmm, well, that's the thing. Like our friendly neighborhood drug dealer, developers tell you to. We've always said blaze your own trail. So whatever you want to do, just do it. But remember these important tips and tricks. My recommended ship progression is Sidewinder, then Adder, Cobra 3, Asp Explorer, Crate Phantom, or Crate 2, or the glorious Python, and finally, Anaconda. Speaking of which, there is a free Anaconda in Hotten Orbital, and I even made a video about it. It's, uh, totally legit. And while we're on the topic of the ships, do avoid these. Diamondback Scout, Keelback, the Wretched Cobra 4. And more importantly, if you have the chance, stab and later on piss on the corpse of Asp Scout. Don't load some cunt buff in the bar. Ah, here's a cheery note. Combat in Elite right now is woefully underpaying. In fact, it's almost the worst way to make money. On the other hand, mining is the best way to make money, followed by passenger missions. I made guides for both, so do check the description. There are also wing missions, missions that you can play with friends and complete. Or if you feel cheeky or simply have like the best friends ever, get boosted by them. Which is that they do all the work and you just cash in. Now, exploration should be about discovering interesting places and sites, not making money. Though, that said, you'll be making more money than with combat anyways. And yes, Elite is that underbalanced. Use Codex, it offers you a lot of information, especially about interesting things you can see in the galaxy. Um, pay no attention to this, this, this is just controlled demolition and reconstruction taking place. J just ignore it, it'll go away. Ah, here's a good one. Uh, don't worry about flying in the best and the biggest ships out there. Enjoy your time with the little runabouts. That said, medium ships are by far the best PvP ships. For PvE though, what you really need is a lot of shields for staying in the fight as they regenerate, and lasers, since they have no need for ammo. And speaking of combat, for the best experience in it for newbies, I would recommend using gimbaled weapons. Um, those weapons. Weapons with that mark. They're easier to use, but if you simply don't want to do anything, use turrets. All the turrets! But remember that these are notably weaker, so better stay with gimbals. Do also check out Elite Database and other third-party tools, as they really will help you out. Yep, I think I'm an accountant now. Don't be afraid to go in open, and while you can get griefed, and you probably will, most of the griefers could actually teach you a trick or two, if you just ask. And though getting griefed or simply losing your ship can get frustrating, do not let that make you a toxic piece of shit, like a lot of Frontier's own forum users are. Seriously, in comparison, Reddit is a fluffy bunny. And if you're still having problems with the game, you are already watching the video, so you sought out help, so asking for more in some other places would not be that hard. Or maybe you can just watch a few more of my videos, I mean, why not? And there you have it, the blazing of your own trail can begin. Hopefully this simple and short video helped out someone. And hey, maybe you know someone who could use this, so feel free to share it and all that good stuff. Uh, oh, and what about you? What, what beginner tips and tricks would you suggest to a newcomer?